Okay, so in this video we want to prove that cosec x plus cot x is equal to 1 over cosec x minus cot x. Okay, so with this one, both of the left-hand side and right-hand side look pretty problematic. Um, I'm going to start with the right-hand side. It looks a little bit worse. So we have this 1 over cosec x minus cot x. Now, cosec we know is 1 over sine. Cot we know is cos over sine. So the denominator we could write as 1 minus cosine x all over sine x. Okay, with the common denominator. Now, this is the reciprocal. So 1 over 1 minus cos over sine is the same as sine over 1 minus cosine of x. Okay. Now, how am I going to get it to this? Okay. So, what I would probably be thinking of doing here, okay, because it looks like we're at a standstill, I know that um, 1 minus cosine, if I multiplied it by 1 plus cosine, I would get 1 minus cos squared. So, if I multiply top and bottom of this fraction by 1 plus cos x, I'm effectively using the conjugate of 1 minus cos x, kind of like the similar technique to if you're working with thirds. So this won't change the fraction because I'm multiplying by 1. So in the numerator, I will have sine x times 1 plus cosine of x. In the denominator, I will have 1 minus cosine squared x. Now, 1 minus cosine squared, we know is sine squared. I can now cancel a sine x for numerator and denominator. I can break that fraction apart by saying that's 1 over sine x plus cosine over sine x. 1 over sine we know is cosec x. Cosine over sine is cot. And that is the right-hand side. So as the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, we are done. Now, it all really hinged on that. That step there. And I'm not going to say that that's an obvious step. It's one that you might pick up um, as you work through more and more of these types of problems, as you get more familiar with using conjugates to simplify problems.